Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again in my sunny garden on this lovely August afternoon. Today I have a yoga themed workout for you, but we're going to start in a nice comfortable seated position and try and bring our focus into the present. And then next inhale, we're going to take our hands and just place them on top of our shoulders. From here, we're going to begin to make circles using our elbows. You go one direction to begin and then we'll swap directions in a little bit. Just find a comfortable circle and begin to warm up those shoulders. Now change direction of the circle, maybe going from front to back, or back to front, depending on which way you started. Nice. Extend the arms out in front of you and begin to just circle the wrists a little bit. Plant the hands on the mat, come into your tabletop position, knees under the hips and wrists under the shoulders. We're going to inhale and extend that right leg out towards the back. Bend the foot towards the sky, so bending that knee and begin to do a few mini pulses here. So just do as many as you can in the given time period. Just trying to point that foot up to the sky, engaging the glute, Try not to bow the back as you do this. And then now we're gonna go for a few deeper pulses. So bring the knee all the way down to the mat. Keep breathing, a few more reps. Bring that knee all the way down. And then reset all the way back to your tabletop. Inhale, extend the left leg, bend the left knee, and pulse for a few mini pulses there. Just trying to engage that glute muscle. And now we'll head on to the deeper pulses. So bring that knee all the way down to the mat each time now. A few more. Very nice, bring that knee back down to neutral position in the tabletop. We're gonna extend the right leg back again, bring the knee into our side, and then extend the right leg out to the side. A few reps of these. Do it at your own pace. Keep it going. One more, and bring the leg back down to neutral, very nice. Inhale, extend that left leg out, and repeat on the other side. Put as many reps in as you can while staying controlled, engaging each muscle. Take your time. Keep it going, you got this. A few more. Very nice. Shake it out, maybe add a few spine or hip circles here. And then we're gonna prepare for some Pilates push-ups. So we're gonna keep our balance on our left leg keeping that in the tabletop position, foot flat on the mat. Extend our right leg up and straight, trying to make a line with our front body if we can, 
and do a few Pilates push-ups here. Take your time. Aim for about five on each side. Then we'll come back into that neutral position, get our balance on our right foot, and add a few push-ups on the left side. Bring it back to neutral. Taking it to the other side yet again now, you got this. Extend the right leg back up and five more Pilates push-ups on the right side. Nice, come back to neutral, extend that left leg up, last set here on the left side, you got this. Come back into that neutral, add a few spine circles or hip circles again, and when you're done, peel it up to down dog. When you're in down dog, take two deep breaths and prepare yourself for a few scapular push-ups here in a second. So to get there, we're gonna inhale to our plank pose after those two deep breaths and begin the set. So try and fit as many in as you can, pressing up to full extension with those shoulders and then dipping down. Try and engage the glutes and exhale back to down dog. Nice, one more set of those. Just try and fit in as many as you can. If you're tired, return to your down dog at any moment. Come back into plank and begin the next set. Exhale to down dog, very nice. The next inhale, we're gonna walk to the top of our mat and exhale into a forward fold. Next inhale, come into a halfway lift, place the hands on the thighs and just roll the spine out here, a few dips and a few arches. Then next inhale, we're gonna roll all the way back up to mountain and begin a few fast-paced sun salutations to keep that heat. So exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank, lower down through chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog and exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, jump or walk to the top of your mat, come into halfway lift, exhale, fold forward and inhale round all the way back up to mountain. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sweep the arms back up. Here we go again, exhaling down to forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, hop or step back into your plank, lower down through chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog and exhale to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. And then we're going to jump or walk between the hands, come into halfway lift with an inhale, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, round all the way back up to mountain. Connect the palms. Exhale, forward fold yet again. Inhale to that halfway lift and exhale either hop or step back into plank lower down through chaturanga inhale to upward facing dog and exhale to downward facing dog take a breath here Next, inhale, hop to the top of your mat again, come into halfway lift, exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, round all the way back up to mountain. Connect the palms, very nice. Option here to keep the thighs engaged while you take a breath in mountain pose. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, we're gonna step that left foot back, then the right foot, lower down through our flow. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, we're gonna raise that right leg up. Exhale, we're gonna step between the hands and rise up into our high lunge. So engage the thighs, engage the glutes. Sweep the arms up, interlace the fingers into like a finger gun and point them towards the sky. Take a few deep breaths here. Exhale, we're gonna bring the arms to the side. Inhale, back up to the top. Do this with your breath. We're gonna repeat it for a few reps here. Keep it going. And next exhale, freeze those arms out to the side. Pivot on the back foot into warrior stance. Keep the front foot facing towards the top of your mat. Bring the arms out in a straight line into our warrior two. Inhale, we're gonna drop that left arm down to the left leg, raise the right arm up. Then we're going to shift into a side lunge, bending that left leg, extending the right leg. So if you're up here, that's fine too. Just go down as far as you can get. Try and keep your balance. Nice. Inhale, come back up. Wide-legged forward fold. Next inhale, rise on up, interlace the hands into the finger gun and begin to do a few side lunges on either side. Just fit in as many as you can within the time period. Rainbow it from side to side. Nice controlled motion here. Almost done. Bring it back to the middle. Exhale, take a nice wide-legged forward fold. Turn back towards the top of your mat. Come into that runner's lunge. Step the right foot back, lower down, take your flow meet in down dog take a breath here in down dog then inhale we're gonna raise that left leg up three-legged dog exhale step it between the hands inhale rise on up Interlace the hands into that finger gun. And then exhale, bring the arms to the side. Inhale to bring the back to the top. Keep it going. Repeat this for a few reps. Almost done. Freeze those arms out to the side. Pivot into that warrior two. So creating a warrior stance with our back right foot. Arms in a nice straight line. Inhale, drop that right arm to the right leg. Left arm reaches up. And exhale, come into our side lunge on the right leg. So bend that right leg, extend the left leg. Only go as deep as you can. 
keep breathing and come back up into that wide-legged forward fold take just a moment here and we'll begin the side lunge again so inhale up interlace the hands and start rainbowing you got this keep it going Take your time. Keep a nice engagement throughout the legs. A few more. And then return back down to that wide-legged forward fold. Nice. Inhale, pivot back towards the front of the mat. Step it back into your plank. Take your flow. Lowering down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take some deep breaths. We'll stretch it out here in just a second. Before that though, we'll enter into a few sphinx planks. So beginning in sphinx pose, you're going to lower the hands down or the forearms down to the mat. Press our chest forward and take a few breaths here in the sphinx pose. We're going to curl the toes under and lift into our first sphinx plank. So engage the abs, try and keep a nice straight line with the body. Toes under the heels, elbows right under the shoulders. Nice, relax back down take a few breaths get ready for the next hold nice curl the toes under lift again keep engagement in the abs lower the knees down to the mat walk the hands back and enter into a child's pose relax here for a moment Take some deep breaths. We've entered into our cool down section of this little mini workout. On your next inhale, we're gonna come into the tabletop. Exhale, press back into your down dog. And then inhale, raise the right leg, step it between the hands, lower the left knee to the mat. Walk the right foot onto the outside of both of your hands and either hold there in lizard pose or option two, come down on the forearms and face the sole of your foot towards your body. So opening the hip a little bit more with that second option. Take some deep breaths in the lizard pose. Option three is reaching back for that left foot with the right arm and pulling it towards the glutes. If you already feel a deep stretch in option one or two of lizard pose, then remain there. All right, so we're gonna release it, bring the foot back in between the hands, step it back straight into our down dog. Then inhale, raise the left leg, step that between the hands lower it down on the right knee and then walk the left foot on the outside of the arms option one is staying here option two come down onto the forearms and then turn the sole of the foot towards your body opening the hip option three is again bringing that right foot towards your glutes using the left arm Take some deep breaths wherever you are. Try and relax into the stretchy posture. And release, walk that foot back in between the hands. Raise up on the right knee, step the left leg back straight into the down dog. 
lower the knees, come back into a seated posture. We're gonna add a few little shoulder circles before we finish up here. Same as the beginning, just pick your favorite direction. Take some calming breaths. And then grab both your elbows, bring the arms up over your head, opening those shoulders. Release, take it to the other side. And release. We'll come into our final pose here by crossing the legs and stacking the knees. There are two ways of entering this pose. I've displayed the first one, the little, the trickier one, the easier way is to come into tabletop and bring one leg over the other. I'd be careful with this pose. If you're new to it, I would definitely put some blankets or blocks in between the knees if you feel like you have some tight hips. If not, maybe just experiment with it, but be very gentle with your body. Feel free to just say, stay in easy pose if this feels a little difficult for you. Swap legs. So bringing our right over the left, stacking the knees. And take just two breaths here. Nice, come back into that tabletop. Find a comfortable seat. Maybe add a little twist to either side just to finish off. Then inhale, connect the palms, exhale, bow forward. Thank yourself for taking the time to move your body today. And thank you for watching another video. See you next time. Nice job.